Hi, Scorpios. We're getting right into how your person is feeling about you. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And then we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we also have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I'm going to get into this unrequited love and pay attention to the red flags because no, this person is extremely attracted to you, Scorpios. We have the King of Rods and the Knight of Wands coming out together. Um, could be dealing with the Aries Leo or Sagittarius. But it's like emotional-wise, they want to try to balance things out because they're not guarding their heart anymore. You know, this Two of Swords is in reverse. So they're trying to be open towards you, um, but they feel like you don't feel the same. And ironic ironically enough, it's like there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But at the same time, we have the king and the knight of rod. So this could just be you second guessing if this person um is a soulmate or they could just be second guessing if if you really want this long term because we have the eight of pentacles in reverse. They don't know if you want to work at this and be in a committed relationship for some of you here. Why? Because it's such an intense, passionate relationship going on. They're not, they're unsure if you want to commit to them. So this is why we have pay attention to the red flags. They don't know how you feel about them. You know, I feel like you're super attracted to them, Scorpios. Um, it could be, uh, you know, in a relationship with this person, obviously, for some of you here, this is a collective reading. But they don't know if you want this, you know, for a once, this long-term, you know, um, moving in, building a happy home with the marriage here. We have Libra showing up with the Justice card in reverse. So they're definitely unsure. We have the Page of Swords. You could have a child or a child with this person. And we do have the Judgment card here. So let's just dig deep because this reading, there's a lot of scenarios going on. Yeah, that Two of Cups literally just did like a 360 flip. Um... So for some, there could uh, be a breakup that's going on, which is why this King of Ross, they want to take action. They, they want to tell you how they feel. Right. And remember, as you said, they want to open up emotionally here. And the Ace of Cups wants to come out because right now they don't know how to communicate their feelings um, for you. We do have the Two of Cups. It doesn't always have to mean a breakup. This could just mean that you guys aren't on the same page um, in regards to love, because again, this is like a very passionate, intimate affair. And it's like you both are struggling um, on how to communicate your emotions or square bills. You could be communicating your emotions. You know, this is your card, the Ace of Cups. And it's like, I need you to be more open. I need you to tell me how you feel instead of acting on it. And this is why the Nine of Cups is in reverse, because they're struggling with telling you how um, they feel here. But I feel like they're going to, um, you know... Um, what's the word, <laughs> like, accomplish this, um, they're going to succeed at this, telling you how they feel, because that six of wands out with the nine of wands, they're just trying to um, speak about it when the nine of wands wants to come out, yeah, and, and, and it's like, there could be, like, some childhood issues that they had growing up that they kind of um, haven't really gotten over here, and it's like, things in their life in the past in regards to relationships just didn't manifest the way they wanted or i mean this could be a person who was a player had multiple options and they met you they're falling in love and it's like in the past my relationships didn't work but i met scorpio and you know they're carrying um the heartbreak of my past here this could also be this person who was a player which caused a separation here and now they're trying to you know really tell you how they feel with this ace of cups energy here so ugh. It's like they're sad that they hurt you, and this is why the Sagittarius, they want to balance things out. Yeah, look at that. The Queen and the King of Rots showing up. Rots, Wands, it's the same thing, just different um, tarot deck. So I definitely feel like this is a soul, soulmate connection here. Why? Because we do have, yes, this is your soulmate. The King and the Queens of Wands want to come out. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Which is why the four of wands is here. I don't know why I got like super <laughs> nasally. I'm sorry. Um, but they're definitely trying. They're definitely trying because they feel this soulmate connection. And so, and so do you. Look at the four of wands coming out. You know? The cloud, you know, they're no longer in delusions here. You know, they want to come in and speak on how they feel. Because they feel like they're going to lo lose you. 
And I feel like this is why I pay attention to the red flags because um, they know how they were in the past. And it's like, again, they met you and with the devil in reverse is Capricorn. They don't want to go back to their old, again, player ways. Wow. Nine of Wands, two in reverse. Soon as I say that. <laughs> um, clarify the two of swords. All right. I'll take them all. Why not? Um, yeah. So I kind of see you with your guard up with the Queen of Swords, but you're welcoming into at least talk, which is why this Ace of Cups is upright. So it's like you're right now, Scorpios, you could be staying office towards this person. I'm just messing up this reading, sorry. And it's like they don't know what to do. It's 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 kind of like um your feelings are, you know, at one point you want them to open up and talk, but the next point is like leave me the hell alone. So they're kind of confused on where you're at right now and it's like they're hurting they're disappointed here with the ace of wands which is why they're some of them are going back and forth but not taking this risk because for some of them they could um with the king of pentacles showing up they could have i don't this it's something with the three of swords here it could have been some other options but i'm getting that's past energy maybe some of them are lying about money here being this king of pentacles and they're disappointed that they lied to you about maybe a home or how much money they had and that was the betrayal just for a few of you here but nonetheless they want to try to become a stable force in your life here you know and that's why they're in this king of pentacles energy because we have this engagement they want to be able to take care of you long term with this four of wands energy showing up you know it's symbol of the house here 11 11 so clarify justice in reverse Whoop. yeah that ten of swords wanted to fly right back out. Yeah, they want to heal this. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Wow. Yeah, they're not playing. They want long term with you. They want it all. They want it all. Yeah, <laughs> the ten of pentacles. Oh, I just knocked this little crystal over. Um. Yeah, they want it all with you. They want the love. They want the money. They want the house. They want the kids. Here, this is beautiful energy. Yeah, they're no longer going back and forth in their minds. They know what they want material-wise, which is you. Could be a twin flame situation going on, taking how it resonates. It could be going to court here, you know, getting their money in order. If they do have a child with somebody else, or if you um are dealing, um, or if you have a child, it's like they want to um you know become a blended family here and be able to take care of you and your child. We have Scorpio energy. So definitely going through some major transformation. Uh, for some, this that death card with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords sometimes can be petty as uh, arguments, communication here, childish uh, things that were said. Yeah, because you have the sign reverse this Leo. There were things that were said, Scorpio, that um, kind of made them feel stupid. Yeah, look at your card coming right back out. So it's like it's kind of like you either. Uh, get your act right or I'm leaving type energy and this is why the death card is here with judgment in reverse <laughs> because they're learning their lessons it kind of took you to walk away for them to really open up and um face their feelings about you yeah for some of them they could have ghosted you or you ghosted them left them out in a cold yeah you could have walked away here yeah nine of cups in reverse but it's like it took you walking away for them to try to um think about making things right which is Probably why I pay attention to the red flags are here and there's unrequited love. For some of you Scorpios, you're done. You're just done. You're walking away. You're moving on to better things, getting this Ace of Cups here. We <laughs> That honeymoon card wanted to come out. Enjoy the holiday time of bliss together. Maybe Valentine's Day. Um, I want to dig deeper into this Four of, Wands, Four of Swords here. We have... The lovers are feeling like they lost the one. Gemini energy, page of cups, wanting the date, and will the fortune feeling like this is over and things have taken a turn for the worse. So again, they're in this temperance energy, going back and forth about it. You know, wanting if they want to give you this cup or not, because we do have that page of cups here. All right, why is the page of pentacles in reverse? The entire moment, the ten of wands. So yeah, they know that they have to drop a lot of bullshit in order to come towards you correctly. Because look at that judgment card, Scorpios. Wow. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let me know how this resonated in the comments. I always love to hear from you. You guys crack me up. If you guys like to book a personal reading with me, please go to my website below. Thank you so much.